All right, for many of you, Morgan and I bringing you the news on this Super Bowl Sunday. Pretty big change from what's been going on the past 30 years. It is, and it's a big change yep. for recently retired KTVB anchor Mark Johnson. A little weird for us, too, we've got to admit. For sure. We watched him, too. I had to get ready while the game was on. <laughs> How dare you? Uh, today was the first Sunday in four decades that the legend has, the, ha has had the opportunity to watch the big game as a viewer rather than reporting on it. Over a month into his retirement, Arkantia Stepovic caught up with him to see how things are going with all this free time he has on his hands. A now. lot of it. Well, he's pretty busy, actually, oh. Brian and Morgan. As you can imagine, being in an industry, as we know, in the public eye with lots of deadlines and at times some chaos, it's almost like a reverse culture shock for Mark. But as I came to find out, he is enjoying being on the other side of the TV. My dream day is to never have to drive my car. My only mode of transportation is my golf cart. That's my dream day. Have you had that day yet? Yes. <laughs> Let's just put retired okay. right underneath my, my name. Mark Johnson, title retired, but day-to-day -day life, never a dull moment as of late. In a word, it's been great. I've had three deadlines every day for the last 40 years. And it's now my deadlines are, I wonder what time I should start the grill. Since leaving the news industry, Mark Johnson has taken up a number of activities. I have not, not one second, have I been bored. Some new. You're like pushing, okay, get up off the saddle now. Go, 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 go. And some activities go way so, back. I'm gonna let you have that. I'm gonna take this. Let's go putt. Ball right between your stance, straight back straight through. Oh, you're kidding me. While he misses some things about the past. I do miss you guys. And I miss the w what we have in the newsroom. I miss the day to day energy, you know. Now he gets to spend his time doing what he loves with the people he loves and other retirees. I'm doing an interview with Channel 7 right now. This better be very, very important. It's so important. This could be a signature for you. Okay, we're rolling. You're you're not live, but you're on tape right now. Well, very, very. What do you have? Yeah. I'm you... not I'm not a baker, but the other night I found a really great recipe for Moroccan dinner rolls. Oh. This Super Bowl Sunday didn't look like the past 40 Super Bowl Sundays for MJ. Super Bowl 1996, Super Bowl 30. I was there for uh, 12 days, Steelers and Cowboys. The night before the Super Bowl, I was getting ready to go live at the hotel of the Steelers and I saw this coach, Bill Cower, at the pool with his family. And I was probably 10 yards from them. And I went over to Coach Cower and I said, Coach, any chance you can give me two minutes? Unheard of nowadays, the night before the Super Bowl, the coach of one of the teams goes, yeah, I can. And flashback to this weekend, 20 years ago. Our team was in Park City covering the Olympics in Salt Lake City. So we are in for two weeks of memorable Olympic moments. Idaho's golden girl, Peekaboo Street. Sorry, Kristen. She was the first golden girl. Her last Olympic run. I'm getting ready to cover that. Get a phone call from our doctor in Boise who says, Mark, you guys are pregnant with twins. <laughs> so that was a historic weekend for me mm -hmm. in more ways than just one. While life is different now, one thing he will never lose are his memories and his character. More like this, now straight up like this. You're gonna go straight back. And does it matter? Straight back, hands? straight through. Including his humor. Oh, even Brian Holmes could have made that. <laughs> you know what? I don't go. Here we go. Whoa! This thing's touchy. Floor it. Woo! Goodbye, KTVB. I'm retiring too. <laughs> Let's go play. Here we go. <laughs> I am not retiring, obviously. <laughs> I've got a long way to go before yeah, that. A lot of years of saving. But I did catch up with Mark and I just called him, okay, so as a viewer, you know, what was it like? Obviously watching the Super Bowl, he's he's not a huge Rams fan. So okay. the outcome, eh. Yeah. 
But big takeaways, he loved Snoop Dogg, loved his performance. One thing he said is, you know, I just feel really bad for all the people on the other side of the mm. performers. They were facing the same side the entire time. I didn't even think about that until I read that in your script. Yeah. And That's a bummer. goes to show Mark's always thinking about other people. Got to yeah. see the guys on the roof, though, so that was good. And not a St. Louis Rams fan when they were in St. Louis. What? All right. Yeah. I'll give them that. They did yeah. kind of leave the city back to where they started, but I get it. Yeah. I get it. Moroccan dinner rolls. That's right. I, I love that raw moment. Um, yeah. We miss, and it's interesting that he said, I miss the energy of the newsroom because Mark yeah. brought the energy to the newsroom. Every I mean, day. He was such a light. We miss him here. Yeah. He misses the morning meetings and just going boom, boom, boom. Oh. In the All right, Katya Stepovic, thank you.